Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching us. And as usual, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed before. And also, I'd like to thank you so much for all those who've been supporting our channel until it has reached this far. Raila Molodinga could be jetting into the country anytime from now. But the most indications are that he is likely to jet into the country tomorrow. But one of the things that we expect from Raila Molodinga is that he is likely to tour the city of Kisumu, probably to have a word with the local leaders in that area. The funny thing about this uh, plan is that Miguna Miguna decided that he is also going to tour Kisumu on Friday. So that is, should, uh, should Raila Molodinga arrive here tomorrow, probably in Nairobi first, and let's say on, on Thursday maybe go to Kisumu, or decide that he'll go to Kisumu on Friday. Now, if that is to happen, and then also Miguna plans that that is the day he plans to go to Kisumu, then the, 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 the mere fact here is that Miguna is hell-bent on creating chaos. I mean, we know that Miguna Miguna is trying to, to, to marshal you know, the troops within the Nyanza region to be behind him so that he can be the kingpin of the Luo Nyanza. But that is, that's something that we all are aware of, and that is a plan of the Kenya Kwanza government. That's the reason why the Kenya Kwanza government decided to bring Miguna back to wrestle the Luo Nyanza from uh, Raila Amolo Dinga or rather Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga following. Now, before we go deep into uh, Raila Molodinga's return and the plans that he has, I'd like to share with you Miguna Miguna himself. And it's a tweet that he, talk, he talks about the trip to Kisumu. And this is what uh, Miguna Miguna said. I will arrive in Kisumu on Friday, October 28th. Kenya is Marwa. So we started off by saying that Raila is expected to jet into the country any time from today evening. But there are a series of tasks that Raila Molodinga is expected to accomplish during his first or two days of stay here in Kenya. The first task will be to force Chebukati on a terminal leave. Remember, William Samoyoto already gazetted the chairpersons and some commissioners or offices to be vacant. And so with that gazettement, it's expected that they are supposed to vacate office or rather to be on a terminal leave three months before the date of uh, their retirement. So Raila Molodinga is, is expected to continue with the what Opi Wandai started of forcing Chebukati and his two other commissioners to go on a forceful terminal leave. The second thing that uh, Raila Molodinga is expected to do is appoint a kitchen cabinet that will oversee the, lock, the, the, the government of the Republic of Kenya. We also expect the, 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 the people's president, uh, Raila Molodinga, to meet Bunge la Wanainchi and channel a way forward on how they are going to deliberate the issue of uh, economic revival, the issue of checking this government up on, 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 on the faults or just checking the government in totality. Remember, Raila Molodinga was sworn in as the people's president. The people's president has no term <laughs> limit. I don't think there was a term limit. The, so it, I think from the swearing in, he's still the people's president. I mean, it can go for eternity because there is no where that that tag has been given or that position has been given a term limit. So the people's president will meet the bungalow on Inji. I think what Raila Molodinga is trying to do is akin to what the law requires that uh, William Samoy Ruto the President of the Republic of Kenya to give his maiden speech at the National 
parliament, which he did. So I think what Raila Molo did when he attended Jivanji was to do similar thing that the president of the Republic of Kenya is required to do by, you know, giving his maiden speech, opening speech at the parliament. So he did that at Jivanji Garden. That is what I relate that meeting to. So Raila will also, you know, have a series of issues to address, one of which will be the much-awaited meeting between him and the chairman of Azimio. And you still know that the chairman of Azimio is still the president, the former president of the Republic of Kenya, who has been, you know, quiet lately. But I think it is the mere fact that they are giving William Samaru to the hundred days that he promised he would make changes and bring some uh, uh, development to the Republic of Kenya. And one of the things that I think Miguna Miguna is trying to achieve is to create a third force in 2027 so that when Raila Molodinga decides to re to seek a real to seek another election, may probably a last election, because it is never too late to right a wrong. So probably they are trying to correct the mess that they they, 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 they found themselves committing during this presidential election so that should they go back to 2027, then I think they will know what to do. The people of Kisumu have told Miguna Miguna on uh, in the media that wewe kama utakuja, just come and, you know, like a citizen. But if you come here with your intentions of trying to outsmart Raila Molodinga, then we will give you sleepless nights. So that was a strong message to Miguna Miguna that you can come to Kisumu, yes, but don't come here with the agenda of, you know, trying to counter Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. And they made it very, very critical that, and very clear that they are still solidly behind Raila Molo Odinga until that time comes when they will stop. But as for now, they are still keen followers of Raila Molo Odinga and that Miguna Miguna can just show up as, you know, a tourist, as any other person, you know, and then leave. That is what they're telling Miguna Miguna. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think Miguna Miguna is justified to tour Kisumu and, you know, try to counter Raila Molo Odinga? Do you think he will succeed? Do you remember what happened to Tuju? I think in around 2007 there, 2006, when Tuju decided to defy Raila Molodinga, we knew what happened. That is likely to happen with Miguna Miguna this time round because Miguna Miguna does not understand that the people in Kisumu are still upset over the result of the presidential election. It should just keep off from that area until the time when those people have healed completely. But as for now, Miguna Miguna can go there, but anything that happens, itakuwa ni juu yake. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to write, wind up there, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed before, please, and also tell a friend to tell a friend to continue subscribing to our channel. And once again, I'd like to say stay safe and stay blessed until you meet again for another analysis.